What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Finally, we're back on some Mutt gameplay. I know you guys have been waiting for this. And this is a video I've been waiting to do, man. Golden Ticket RG3. I mean, the best abilities in the game, the best archetypes in the game. And he's a 98 speed skate artist, all that good stuff. I'll break that down in a second. But before that, in case you were wondering what it felt like to use escape or what it looked like to use escape, I'm gonna show you a couple of clips because I was a dog last year with escape and you know sometimes i think maybe i should have used it this year but nonetheless let me show you these clips real quick we're gonna get in the game plan all that good stuff just take a sack or take a check down almost took a sack right there but vic what? escapes and what? there he goes over that's holt in the slot vic with that escape ability and michael vic down the sideline these plays i've ever seen in a big third and four here come on oh what a playmaker it's Corey Hall. Yeah, man, it was a pretty crazy year last year. I mean, it's nowhere close to even what this year is like. This year is more of a pocket quarterback style, and we all know this. What I'm telling you is nothing new. It's the end of the year, pretty much. But, I mean, it's going to be fun to get out there, use these abilities that I have. And, you know, hopefully maybe you guys like what you see. Maybe re uh, replicate that. Do enjoy this video. Leave a like, like always into the gameplay, into the breakdown. So let me show you my RG3 real quickly. So boys, here's my RG3, 98 speed, all 99 throwing stats. I mean, his medium is 96, which is really not going to matter. He's six foot two and he's 100, 213 pounds. So he's pretty, you know, he's a good amount uh, for a quarterback. Most quarterbacks like, like Vic, for example, he's a little uh, undersized, but you know, RG3 is kind of big built, big body uh, build. And you know, he has 65 strength, which isn't a lot, but I mean, it, definitely more than Vic, I believe. Definitely need a uh, Dante Culpepper. I just thought of big body builds for quarterbacks. Dante Culpepper or air truck would go crazy this year. Yeah, 99 stats all around. He's 106 cap for SC if you do play salary cap. I actually started playing a little bit. Maybe make some videos sooner than later on SC. But the main thing you guys want to see is the abilities, like always. A screenshot, do whatever you have to do. These abilities are kind of different, but yeah, man. Uh, hot round master for two ap because rg3's archetype is that's why golden tickets are so good if you didn't know this by now any archetype at any slot therefore you can get any ability for any ap you want and it saves a lot of ap so this is actually a super golden ticket quarterback for only nine ap i mean if you wanted to do the math on this it would be insanely i don't think it'd be even possible to get a quarterback like this um it'd probably take like 13 to 14 of your ap this only takes nine Hot Round Master on a Field General 2 AP, Protected Field General 2 AP, Inside Dead Eye. I think a lot of archetypes get it for 1 AP. Inside Dead Eye's glitch for throws on the run. Last year, Dashing Dead Eye was the move. This year, Inside Dead Eye is the move. Next is Gunslinger on a Strong Arm for 2 AP. And last but not least, Escape Artist on a Scrambler archetype for 2 AP. So he's going to get a lot of plays. Hopefully, we play some good games. And lastly, of course, I need my Playmaker. No matter what, I need my Playmaker. So, you know. I don't think I'd go into a like a MCS game with these abilities because uh, first of all I haven't tried them enough. Second of all, I feel like I would want like short in on my tight end, maybe short in on another receiver. But you know this is for fun. I'm trying to make some escape artist plays, and per usual, here's the offense defense, Seattle offense, Giants defense. Let's finally get in the game, boys. All right, guys. So here we go. We are playing Ninja Weapon X2, and it looks like he has a solid team. Like I said, hopefully we're playing a good opponent. Um, I know you guys always want to see some high-level gameplay. And, you know, I'm just trying to make some plays. Let's go. We get ball first. That's what we like. And I know I'm in the patch jerseys, but trust me, I'm not no patch fan. Someone was on my account. Guys, my reasoning for running Seattle Playbook, you guys may be wondering, is uh, I feel like just clear art is so good. And, man, it's been a minute since I played Madden. Hopefully, I can make some plays. Um, but what's it called? I feel like the audible downs are great. Clear art is amazing, and I don't know, man. I just, I just don't know. I feel like it was a move to use. So it's gonna come out in spacing, and uh, this is just a freestyle route combo. And we have Mike Evans on that post, and I'm using two Mike Evans. One at cornerback, slot cornerback. He's a glitch, and then I also got this one right here. Um, just, just the normal receiver, no abilities on him. And I wish I put on conductor, man. Y'all know how I am with conductor, but uh, this is gonna be our first rollout play right here. We can make something happen inside dead eye. He underthrew it on the run dead eye, but I get a animation glitch. We all know that animation, boys. 
Going back to the same play because I believe this thing will be open again. This real fade. And it's not open. We're going to playmaker up and throw a laser. And we drop it. Pain. We're going to call timeout, man. Um, I feel like our quarterback... Not quarterback. Our players probably got a little tired right there. Man, I tell you, I should have I should have slapped on a conductor. Um, it just makes it so smooth to use. But I think I have Robert Woods on the inside right there. Great catch by the new golden ticket tight end, Robert Woods. I feel like he should be 99 speed. I, I don't know how he's not. He's literally a wide receiver at tight end. But we'll take it. We'll take it. See right there, RG3's release is, uh, it's not the best, I told you guys. Don't tell me, don't say I didn't tell you, but, you know, everything else makes up for it for sure. Easy flat routes to Robert Woods. I'm going to try to juke someone, not really able to. And I should probably go on conservative, honestly, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter. And look, yeah, he's already tied. We're going to sub in George Kittle for a play. And you know how it'd be funny it would be if George Kittle ends up snagging this touchdown? I think he's going to, um, I'm going to end up going... Trying to hive all this dot right here to George Kittle. And I think I'm going to have it. I think I'm going to have it. Oh, I have it. And he ends up getting feet out of bounds. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking to George Kittle again, man. He, he's a dog, especially in this end zone, red zone, red zone type of area. And actually, we're just going to take off. And we're going to make a play happen. We're going to slide. We're going to slide. We're going to slide. And I believe... Seahawks does have QB draw. Yes, sir, it does. I'm going to go on conservative real quick, boys. And we're going to make something happen. And man, oh man, I remember running QB draw in the beginning of the year. I know it's kind of bad now. But hey, we still get it done. RG3 is the truth. Yes, sir. I forgot what his, uh, his signature in college used to be pointing to the sky, right? Or taking a knee. One of the two, or maybe both. And RG3, man, he's a dog. Quick 7-0 start. I mean, it was a two-minute drive. It's all right, I guess. And if you guys couldn't tell, this is not all Madden Mutt. This is just all Pro Mutt. Guys, my opponent is in a three wide receiver set. You know what that means. I'm going to quickly sub in my players. And there we go. We're going to run a little bit of man. Um, see what he likes about this man coverage look. I'm going to shade up. Always first play. And from there, I'm just going to try to shoot gaps. And you know, he ends up getting three yards, but we're fine with that. And here he is, man. Mike Evans, cornerback. He is a dog. 99 speed. He's going to be making some big hits. I've seen him earlier in the MCS games, and he was making some huge hits. Fortunately, was not able to shade underneath. And my opponent just missed every read in the in the world. There goes Ahmad Brooks. I don't have Clowney, but I actually had to get that um, new draft card. I believe he's 99 speed. Uh, forgive me. I don't know his name. I know his number is number 28, though, which is really, really glitchy. And, you know, we're going to be on Ronnie Lott right here. Just there we go. Ricky cracks him with another shed. This is unfair. And we're going to pump block, bro. We're going to pump block glitch. See if we can do it. Um, it's kind of like a thing now that people have been trying to do. Hopefully we could come in. And we were just too close. But Raheem Moster is going to get this ball. We're going to try to make some moves happen. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad for that. But guys, what do you think next year is going to hold for us? I know it's going to be on next gen. And trust me, guys, I'm going to get some next-gen gameplays for you guys very, very soon. Um, F it. Oh, that's a hot one. And we don't get our feet in bounds again. That's sort of the type of stuff you guys want to see in this gameplay. And I got you. But like I said, what do you think next year is going to be like? It's going to be next-gen. It's going to be a lot of, like, slow-paced gameplay. I'm going to get on next-gen and run a couple videos, run a couple gameplays, see what we got going on in that part. But, yeah, just let me know what you guys think right here. My opponent isn't containing... I mean, everything is open. RG3 throwing the dipping dots on the run. You not know who I am, guy. I'd I, I be, I be rolling out all the time. Same play again. Um, I was looking for that one play that's going to be just killer with escape artist inside that. And I think I found it. Um, I think I found it. I definitely found it. Deion Jones ran up on George Kittle. That's a no-no, my guy. And guys, if I end up, um, you know... Stopping him right here, which it looks like I am gonna maybe even scoring one more time I'm gonna quit out and get in another gameplay. I don't even care about you know all these mutt coins or whatever I pretty much have all the cards I know there's gonna be way more cards dropping a couple more golden tickets. I believe dropping at this point in the year, man It's all about the content man. You know that Once more gun split slot. I mean, I don't even have to I could I'm gonna set the controller down Let me first Shade up, setting the controller down. Controller is on the ground. 
Okay, I got dotted. I, I'm too cocky. I got dotted. I got dotted. I got dotted. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. We're going to try it again, though. Controller down challenge. That's how good man-to-man -man is this year. Obviously, one steps took it over the top. I mean, man-to-man -man is still insane. So, we're going to give it another shot. Controller on the ground. Not on the ground. On the desk. Let me make some adjustments first. And these look like some nice adjustments. Ah. Uh, Controller's not on the ground actually this play. It doesn't matter. We end up still getting a nice stop. And we're gonna try to scream at him, man. We haven't really blitzed him yet out of the 146. We're making some nice adjustments right here, man. Definitely gonna send the dogs. And he has a nice little dump off. Um, but it's still fourth and five. I wonder if he's gonna go for it or not. Alright, controller will be on the floor right here, bro. On the desk. Controller on the desk. See if we could adjust. And we do adjust. Man to man is too good. And there it is. Opponent actually left. I didn't even have to quit. We're going to get into one more game, guys. I'll see you in a sec. And, boys, we got an instant game. Hopefully, we are playing someone better than our last opponent. You can only hope. And we're playing another person with Randall Cunningham. I don't know if these guys are coin broke or what it is, but RG3 is your guy. Guys, let me know if y'all use Protected as well. Um, I know I experimented a couple times with Protected. And really, I haven't really seen anything crazy. Maybe you need protected with O-line abilities. And that might go crazy. But for the most part, I don't think using protected solo is the move. I mean, I really didn't get shedded that game. But then, then again, I didn't really play the best caliber player, you know. All I remember one time is I put on protected. And I literally got shedded the first grip with, by El Toro. El Toro is actually insane. Uh, don't, tell, don't say I didn't tell you guys about El Toro when the first... When the new ability uh, changes dropped. I, I remember I told a lot of y'all about that. Alright. Same play. Bench pivot. Smash return. It's the same play. And we're going to throw this dot. Ooh, that Robert Woods is a glitch, man. And I, I'm liking what I'm seeing with these rollout corner dots. A lot of the throws are not going over my head. I don't know if that's inside dead eye or not. But hey, I'll take it. A little bit of bunch tight end never hurt nobody. Let's, let's just hop in the bunch tight end real quick, see if we can freestyle something. This form is heavily underrated. Um, and for the most part, it's heavily underrated because everyone thinks you're just going to run boot over. And let's, and let's see if this guy thinks I'm going to run boot over because in reality, I'm not. I'm just trying to dot up. And he actually uh, ends up playing really bad defense. And he almost, he almost lurks me. He almost got a super speed burst and lurked me, but he didn't, thankfully. Right here, I'm gonna use that playmaker dot inside dead eye, and I'm getting, I'm getting a little risky, boys. I'm getting a little risky. Um, his user is definitely kind of almost there in a lot of these plays. But let's cook up, man. I'm gonna run the same play again. Isaac Bruce on the playmaker. I know I could use someone better, but hey, for the most part, that's what we got. And do I got Robert Woods? That was not the read. Thankfully, it's out of bounds. Blind read by me. I should have kept the streak on that side. Right here. Another bunch tight end freestyle. And we have that flat route open. Um, we'll take that. What is that? Four yards. And I need to run some new plays, man. I'm getting that habit of uh, the previous play. Sometimes it'd be like that when you just continues to call, continuously call previous play, previous play. And it can get bad at times, honestly. Right here, just a simple clear out route combo and i'm looking for robert woods and we get hit throw out a sack very very bad i feel like that was a dot honestly especially on all pro and can Kamara get there yes he can thankfully but still nonetheless that was a bad play by me and that's rg3's release for you guys sometimes it's not going to be that crispy brett Favre gunslinger release sometimes it's going to be you know that little wind up that you see once more playing another person running three wide we're going to spy Cam Chancellor because there's always that threat of QB draw. Because I am in this kind of, you know, uh, heavy, heavy dime set. It's right there. I think he was throwing a pick. I don't know, boys. That could definitely looked like a pick to me. Once more, gun spread. Three wide. Okay, I'm going to play the QB draw this time. Um, I'm going to spy one of my safeties. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. The QB wrap. And there we are. We'll take that three-yard gain. And trust me, the reason I knew that right there, boys... It's the IQ at first, but the second lead is um, he has Randall Cunningham in. There he is now. He's definitely going to probably pass now. 
He's not going to pass with a non-gunslinger is what I meant to say. He had Lamar Jackson in earlier, who is a non-gunslinger. And if you're passing with a non-gunslinger at this point in the game, I don't care if it's all pro, pro, rookie, you're going to throw a pick without gunslinger. Right here, we're going to send the heat, man. He's in gun spread. And, okay, this is what I literally, literally just said. Is he going to run QB rap? He runs QB rap on 4th and 7. What am I playing? What am I playing, man? Just a very, very tough scene for my opponent. QB rap on 4th and 7. No clue. No words. Come on, RG3. I need, I need some dipping dots. I need some throws on the run. And that's, that's one right there. Easy dot. Little swerve to action. Get our feet in bounds. We're cooking up now, man. We're cooking up. And I'm going to run mesh post, man. I know you don't see a lot of mesh posts anymore. But I feel like mesh post is still very solid. There's a couple of setups you could run. Um, I'll try to run one very, very soon. And there's Kamara. And he's going to try to fight. Doesn't get in the end zone, but we'll take it to the two-yard line. Time to air truck someone. And honestly, if he shows me goal line, I'm taking off with RG3. This is what you guys want to see. RG3 with Escape Artist gives you that dual threat. You know, a little, just a little bootleg and walk in end zone, hopefully. And he is in goal line. I'm just going to take this either the right or the left, obviously. I might pass this. I might pass this. And I'm going to pass that, man. I have to. He's just so wide open. Robert Woods. That's a nice connection from Robert to Robert. RG3, Robert Griffin the third to Robert Woods. You're actually goaded if you call PA spot in the end zone. Most people, oh, I go on aggressive. I run, I run QB uh, sneak. I run fullback to high. You're just a goat if you just, just come out there simply just call PA spot. I mean, it's the best, man. It's honestly the best. Most people sell out to the run. It's not always going to be there. Um, versus a lot of these pros, they don't actually give it up anymore like they once did. But man, oh man, I'm telling you, when you catch someone lacking like that, it just feels great. Right here, he's trying to go deep. And that's no bueno for me. Eric Berry, the man who fought cancer, the man who beat cancer. Great interception right there, man. I love Eric Berry. Who doesn't love Eric Berry? A little bit of QB draw, man. I'm not on conservative. This is going to get a little scary. Um, but hey, that's why you guys watch. That's why you guys watch. That's why you guys watch. And I bet you RG3 is tired. Yeah, I knew it. I'm going to go on conservative right here just in case I audible again to it. And I just kind of forgot, man. That's going to be really glitchy in the red zone to run. Is that a QB sneak? Excuse me, QB draw. Kind of just a throwback to the beginning of the year, man. Right here, we're going to just quick snap, bench pivot. And he kind of adjusts for me. But do I have that step on him? And we almost did a crazy swerve catch. He ran match. Um, that's not me, man. I'll, I'm going to make sure to get him out of it. My man's is really just abusing match, thinking that it's all good. But in reality, it's just it's just easy dots for this match. Um, it's a little flood concept to the right. That clear out route is going to clear a lot of stuff out for me. And we're going to hit Mike Evans on that corner route. And wow, Eric Berry goes crazy against me. I mean, that was actually great defense, but I don't know how that got played. Was right here. He matched on at the last second. I guess I could have thrown it earlier, but I was a little afraid of his user, and I didn't get the best throw. It'd be like that sometimes, boys. My opponent's switching it up, so that means I have to switch it up. Gun wing. We're going to get in 3-3-5 wide really quickly. Set up, set up, set up. There we go. We are set up. And we're just going to kind of play the run. Oh, boy. We got Taylor Mays in the game. That's, that's no good. He is like 95 speed, maybe, right here. Actually, pretty good defense, if you ask me. It's going to take it to the second quarter. Power, I strong. So, my man's is definitely in the Ravens playbook. And he's running the Ragusa quick scheme. Shout out my guy, Rag. Uh, if you know him, you know him. If not, you don't. And that power actually popped off. Hopefully, we can make a tackle when we are able to. Gunwing again, man. So, my man's is just picking and choosing the runs he wants to run. I'm just going to spy both my safeties to play the run because I know he's going to run with Lamar. And honestly, it didn't matter. He still gets five yards. So, I mean, he's kind of heating up his runs. Once more power, strong. I mean, this, this run actually looks demonic. I need to sell out to the run for sure. And that's what we're going to able to do, be able to do. And, I mean, that still looked a little scary. I'm not going to lie, but we held him for two yards. Gun empty, base flex. Got to watch this draw. And uh, he had this little out route earlier. I'm going to spy Justin Smith, man. And now he's going to actually audible down. So we're going to have to shoot this gap. Uh, I don't know where to shoot it from. 
And we actually make a crazy play with Ronnie Law. I know you guys saw that. I was at, on the left side in the beginning. And then I went to the right. And he's going to audible down, man. I'm going to send the dogs. I'm going to send the dogs. Uh, we got to make some adjustments real quickly. And that's what we do. It's not the best play art, but hey, we'll, hopefully we get it done. And he hits us with a seam streak, man. Good stuff by my opponent. My opponent is actually playing like a demon right now. And back to I form he goes. You got to love it, man. I feel like that's just a meme in the community at this point. When someone gets a you know tough fourth down conversion, they're like, yeah, let me chill. I'm going to go and run the ball for a second. I do that too, man. I won't lie to you. I'll run an inside zone. I'll run a base. Last year was fullback dive out of that uh, week out of uh, West Coast playbook. I know you guys remember that. Gun, deuce close. And we're going to try to scream, man. We haven't screamed once this game. And, yeah, that's why. Because he's running the ball at his play. Shout out Ricky Craxton for that crazy hit. He's going no huddle. And I'm doing the same thing again. Sending the dogs. Um, crazy user right there. We're going to call a timeout. Get ourselves settled down. See if he kicks three. Goes for it. Strong wing for the chicken. For the chicken wings. Find my safety on the right side. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. He runs power O. We get a crazy user, but we're just not able to stuff it up. Those power O's are actually insane now. And he's going up tempo. It's fine with me. He runs fullback dive. And I'm not going to lie. He is gashing me right now. He is toting all over me. This Ravens playbook, man. If you're a toter, if you like QB runs, definitely hop in that Ravens playbook, man. Because these runs are kind of glitchy, man. And I'm going to try to use it the table and see what happens when he has to pass. Instant pressure. Um, and we're going to send five right here and just play it safe. And that's what that's what, that's 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 what all I wanted right there. We could try to get three before half. Maybe even seven. You never know. All right, man. We're running the same play we had just ran. And all right, we're going to have a bomb. We're going to have a bomb. We're going to have a bomb. No, we're not. Even with inside dead eye, it doesn't matter. We are not able to throw bombs like last year. I'm just thinking of all the good times I had last year with the skate artists and rollout corners and rollout dots. And right here, my opponent's trying to go deep. We have a deep half there. And that's going to be picked off right back. Thank you very much. I mean, my man's had me sweating for a little bit. Try to get sticky. That's what we do. Not even that, that, not even that clean. Just a little swerve action. Left, right, right, left. We're going to able to score before half. Yeah, I don't know if he's out of here, but it looks like he's out of here. Boys, I'm sorry. I couldn't show you the best RG3 gameplay possible. But trust me, if you watch over the next couple weeks, next couple months, I'm definitely going to keep posting stuff. Whether it's money games. I know you love money games. Um, whether it's just tournaments or just mutt gameplays, sweaties, weekend leagues. I'm going to finish off the year strong. And like I said earlier, I'm going to try to get you some next-gen gameplay. Till next time, boys. Nice little video. Just keep the momentum going, going, going. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.